Those are the dreaded Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, the main carriers of the Zika virus. These ones are clean. They have no virus in their bodies. They're part of a colony being raised at this Ontario research lab. The good news about Aedes aegypti is they can't survive a cold Canadian winter. But what about the mosquitoes who already live here? Could they ever carry the Zika virus? I would love to be able to say that our normal Canadian mosquitoes can't carry the viruses, but honestly, we just don't know. There are two domestic species of particular interest. There's the Aedes japonicus, also known as the Asian bush mosquito, and the Aedes vexus. Both are invasive species that have become firmly established in Canada. So if Canadians came home with the Zika in their blood, could the bugs bite them and spread the virus to other Canadians? It's a question Dr. Hunter hopes to answer. We would want to know whether or not species that are actually found here are capable of picking up the virus and then replicating it inside their bodies and have that virus move to their salivary glands so that when they then feed on their next host, they can spit it into the next host. Dr. Hunter has applied to Ottawa for the permits to start working with the Zika virus in her level three lab. It would be in a secure containment lab where you know, the general public can't get access to it and none of the mosquitoes in there can actually get out. It's got many barricades uh, to keep everything contained. The scientists will feed Zika to the insects to see if the virus can replicate in their bodies and then they'll check to see if the bugs can pass it on through a bite. At this point, there's no evidence that it's ever happened. It's just a theory that bears checking. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.